Do you realize that the love of Jesus Christ was unmoved by opposition? He would not quit loving. In fact, Jesus Christ never stopped loving Judas, even though he knew well in advance that Judas would betray him. Remember when Jesus let it be known that one would betray him, no one suspected Judas because Jesus Christ loved him like all of the rest. On the night of the betrayal, Jesus even allowed Judas to kiss him, and Jesus even called him friend. When Jesus went to the home of Jairus to raise his 12-year-old daughter from the dead, and then announced to the crowd, saying, Do not weep. She is not dead, but sleeping. Remember, the crowd ridiculed him. And Jesus at that moment didn't turn his back upon this unbelieving crowd. He didn't walk away. He was not discouraged. But in love, he raised that little girl from the dead, saying in Luke chapter 8, Little girl, arise. When the Pharisees accused him of being the devil's partner, Beelzebub, the Lord of the flies, you know, Jesus did not stop his ministry to them, but he continued to reach out to them and in love showed them the truth. When his brothers said in Mark 3 and verse 21, he is out of his mind, calling him a lunatic and a madman because he claimed to be the Messiah. Jesus Christ did not withhold himself from them, but he continued to love them, and eventually his brothers were saved. When that angry mob cried out, crucify him, crucify him, Jesus didn't turn and say, enough is enough, you ungrateful, bloodthirsty people. You see, Jesus rather would not stop loving. You see, he continued to love even in the midst of his opposition. He didn't quit. His love never backed down. And you know, we are to love in the very same way. We're told in 1 Corinthians 13 and verse 7 that love hopes all things. It endures all things. You see, love doesn't stop loving. It endures opposition. It doesn't lose hope. You see, it loves the wayward child to the day of repentance. It loves the unsaved spouse to the day of redemption. And it loves the disciplined Christian to the day of restoration. And friends, that's an agape love. And that's the kind of love that's been poured out in our heart that is manifested as we walk in step with the Spirit. And may the Spirit of God form and manifest and flow in us and through us that love, a love that is persistent, a love that never backs down, a love that never quits. And may the Spirit of God take the Word of God and change you with it today.